hello guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video today we are going to learn how to design a jota using adobe photoshop so before any further i do let's get started go to your file menu then you select new then go to print and over here select a4 paper size then change it to inches and select the orientation to landscape all right so leave the resolution at 300 or you can reduce it if you want then i'm going to leave it at 300 then you click on great then also want to know if you are going to print then make sure that you change it to cmyk for printing and if it is for social media then leave it for rgb color so this is for social media then i'm going to leave it like this and click on uh, grades all right then go to view to grade a guideline then over here i'm going to set up a guideline at five percent um horizontal then another one at 95%, 95%, then this one, I did not add the percent, so I'm going to just use it manually like this for the tutorial purpose. Okay, then go to the view again, then you select and uh, over here now i'm going to use vertical then the position i'm going to apply 50 percent for the center like this then go back again then you select it and i'm going to apply 45 percent and also i'm going to use 55 percent then you will see all this so which you can also reduce manually as you want it okay then and this one now i'm going to use five percent and the last one i'm going to use 95 percent you see so something like this you can now use your mouse to apply manual to the edges over here something like this okay so having done this one now so the next thing then we are going to create a rent angle then come to the center over here then and you drag it to get a cycle i mean a rent angle and i'm going to apply this color on it Ctrl plus V, then this is more pure white. Then I'll click on OK to apply it. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is to create to create a red angle line, something this way. Okay, then I'm going to apply a color. I'm going to apply a color to it so that I can easily identify it i think something like this will be okay all right now the next thing now is to duplicate it as many as you can so i'm going to fast forward over here All right, so having done this one now, so I'm going to select select it all while you hold your shift key, then apply vertical alignment so that it will all be equal. Okay, now the next thing now I'm going to do, then I will right click on it, then merge all the layers together as one. Okay. So after you have done this, so now i'm going to 
apply a dark color a dark color okay then i will rotate it i will rotate it this way then increase it to scale it so that it will all fit in the diagram then something like this now right click and create a clipping mask then before then i'm going to duplicate this one then i will hide this one for now because i'm going to use it at the other side so then this one now reduce the opacity Twenty three percent. Okay, so if there is any need, then I'm going to reduce the opacity again. Then, but for now, I'm going to leave it like this. All right. So having done this one, then go to your polygon tool. Then over here, I'm going to make use of six percent. Then hold your shift key while you drag it. Then you will have something like this. Okay. Then I'm going to copy this color code over here. Then double click. Then Ctrl plus V to paste it. Right. And I'm going to apply a stroke. Then increase the size to 20%. Alright. Then also I'm going to create a shape at the edge of it then i will increase the size i think this will be okay then the next thing i will do now i will rotate it this way rotate it vertical and make sure it is straight all right so I will bring this one somewhere like this. It's okay. Then duplicate this one. Drag it over here to duplicate it. And now I will take this one and position it over here. You can use your arrow key then to open the space then also remember to bring all this one down over here all right so that this one will be at the top then this one duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate and now we take it up here then something like this also i'm going to duplicate this one again drag it over here to duplicate and Hold your shift key while you drag it down. Okay, so this is what you have here. So what I will do now, then I'm going to select all. Then, and now we hold my shift key while I drag it this way. Because I want this one to come up. Something like this is okay. All right, then select it all again while you hold your shift key. Then create a clipping mask. So you can see now, then go back to this, this one we created, the rectangle and reduce the opacity. Then something like this, it's, it is more better. Okay. So having done this one, then the next thing I'm going to do now, I will go to my test tool or you press it using the, the, the keyboard. And over here, I'm going to use the font called Austin Pen. Then go to your test document and I will copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste, then change the font color to this color or 
you can use black any one you want then i'm going to use this color now you can increase the size Then copy this one, Ctrl plus C. Then select your test tool. And now I'm going to make use of this font here. So I will copy this font. So I'm going to paste it. Then over here is the font. Then, and I will copy these tests here. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. now increase the font size then i'm position it somewhere here something like this right okay so the next one now then select your test again and make a copy of this one ctrl plus c then duplicate this one you drag it over here to make a duplicate then bring it down over here then select your test to highlight it ctrl plus a to highlight and ctrl plus v to paste all right then i'm going to increase the size of the fonts and also i will bring it around here position it around here then duplicate it by dragging it down over here and position it around here then select the test go to your test document make a copy and ctrl plus v to paste Use your arrow key then to move it up. Alright. So, having done this one now, so the next thing I'm going to do, I will go to my resource file. And over here, I will bring this ring. Then reduce the size. Position it behind. All right, then right starize it, then apply black and white, then click on this to clip it on the image of the ring, then hold your shift key or control key while you select the tool. Now, then merge the layer as one, then you can now reduce the opacity something like this is okay all right so the next thing again then go back to your resource document and over here i will bring this one then reduce it then apply black and white then you will have something like this then clip it then over here you can adjust it something like this it's okay then hold your shift key while you select it then merge it together all right so on this one if you want to adjust it to make it dark then now you can hold your control key and press u then you can make it darker by adjusting this one it's okay like this i don't want it too much that is minus nine 
then reduce the opacity so okay, like this then hold your shift key then you select this one and over here how we increase the size then go back to your resource file and over here i'm going to import this divider element reduce the size bring it and position it over here then hold your shift key while you select it now you can use your mouse the arrow key then to bring it down so having done this one the next thing now i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate and i will take this one up then bring it over here select your test tool change the color to white then copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus a to highlight ctrl plus v to paste then reduce the size something like this then ctrl plus j to duplicate hold your shift key while you select reduce it then expand it over here then i will select this one highlight it go to your test document then copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then increase the size go back to your test document then i make a copy of this one then come over here and make a duplicate of this one ctrl plus j to duplicate drag it up then you bring it down select your test to highlight it the ctrl plus v to paste and reduce the size Use your arrow key then to move it up. So now you will have something like this. Okay. So select this one. Then hold your shift key while you select it. And use your arrow key then to bring it down. All right. So now we are done with this one. So what remain now we are going to apply our image so select this one then go to your resource file and over here i'm going to import this image then you bring this image over here reduce the size then something like this now right click and create a clipping mask release this one okay so why this one refused to clip inside is because this polygon is clipped on this line you are seeing over here so i'm going to release it then now right click and create a clipping mask so you can see now it's clipped now okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to select this one 
then drag it up then I will drag it up to be above the rest then now the remaining one I can now select it and create a clipping mask on it all right so have it done like this so we are going to the back cover now all right then before going to the back cover i'm going to select all this one then ungroup it all right then this is the line we duplicate before so i will come over here then create another rectangle I will make a copy of this color code here. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. So now we have this one and I'm going to turn on this line now. So after turn on this line, then I'm going to apply another color, which is going to be like this. Okay, then flip it this way, then arrange it properly, alright, so having arranged it properly this way now, so the next thing we are going to do, then we are going to right click on it and create a clipping mask to fix it inside so this is how it will come then already i will also like to change it instead of positioning this way then i'm going to flip it back to the original position this way All right, so it's okay like this. Then what I will do is to reduce the opacity. Something like this. I think it is okay like this. All right, so then we are going to create another polygon. Then make sure that this place is 6. Then hold your shift key to draw a perfect polygon. Like this. Okay. And rotate it vertical. Then on this one, I'm going to apply the same color here and increase the stroke line to 20 percent just like we did in the first place okay so this one now i'm going to duplicate it then you drag it over here to duplicate then i will position this one over here then drag it over here to duplicate again and i will position this one over here okay so as you can see now then i will select it then take it up Alright, then and I'm going to duplicate one among this one.
something like this then make a duplicate of this one then position it over here okay i believe this is how it's supposed to be then now drag this one up increase it then use your arrow key then to take it up like this then okay all right then the next thing i'm going to do then these two i'm going to make a duplicate then you drag it over here then i'll position it this way use your arrow key then to take it up like this then this one like this make it equal all right so this is how it is all right so having done it this way so the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to draw a rent angle at this space something like this then go back to your resource file and bring this back code all right then you reduce the size then make a duplicate of this rent angle over here then i'll turn this one off then this one hold your alt key while you increase the size then now turn this one on turn this one on right click and create a clipping mask then you will have something like this then reduce the size of this one then hold your alt uh, shift key then you press this one then apply vertical and the horizontal alignment okay so having done this one the next thing go to your test document and i will copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool then over here i'm going to change the font to poppins then make it medium ctrl plus v to paste so this one now i'm showing you how to put your label when you are designing something like this so this is an idea for you then to know how to put your label so now having created this one so the next thing i'm going to duplicate this one don't select it then you drag it here to make a duplicate then use your arrow key or your mouse to bring it down then select your test tool highlight it then now ctrl plus v to paste so over here now then you can see you can put your company name Then if you have a phone number, then you can also place your phone number. You know, all this thing is very important because that is what your client will use to communicate with you. All right. Then I'm going to highlight it. Then and paste this contact number over here. Then reduce the size. Something like this. So if you want to apply any color, then you can apply any color of your choice to this ones you are seeing here. 
all right so then i'm going to leave it this way then if you want then you it is important for you to do that all right so now having done this one on so the next thing now then i'm going to duplicate any of this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then i will drag it down or back over here then i will select it and take it up here all right then select your test tool and i'm going to type something like this then make sure that you centralize it right then continue then apply center alignment reduce the size then centralize it then you can now increase the size as you want something like this then I will go back to this line here and reduce the opacity to fade it more. I think this is more better. All right. Now, so we are going to clip our image on this um, polygon now. Then go to your document, I mean your resource file and then uh, over here i'm going to select this image and over here i will position it then you can go to image then and adjustments to make it bright all right then you create a clipping mask to it then over here i will select this one then go to your file i mean your resource file and then um, apply this one so i will position it here so you can increase the size as you want Also, you can go to your adjustments on that image then to apply brightness. This one is okay like this. Then, create a clipping mask. So, I know you understand how to create a clipping mask. When you right click, then you will see create a clipping mask on that here. Now, this is to release. When you click on release now, then that is, it will remove it from, from clipping mask. Then, when you right click, then you click on it then it will then power clip the image into the box all right now so we are going to power clip or clip an image into this box now then go back to your resource file and bring this one this image over here So when you see this image, so one thing is that this image you are seeing is not, it's not one person. The one at the front page is different from the one at the at the back cover here. So if you notice that, if you look it very well, you then you will notice that that this picture here is different. But this back cover is the same persons. So but the front one is different persons. So if you want this image, then you go to Google and search for pre-wedding photos. Then you will find any of these images. All right. Then go to your image adjustment, then brightness. 
can and uh, increase the brightness and the constructs then all right right click and create a clippy mask so that is it okay so having done this one now so the next things to do then i'm going to select them hold your shift key then while you select all the polygon all right then right click so and convert it to smart object then click on this to open it now i'm going to select this one select the polygon then you save it so you may not understand why i did that so what i did is that this white line here did not appear under here so i have to go and uh, adjust the polygon over there then save it so that this white line over here will now appear all right so having done this one now so the next thing then i'm going back again to that our smart object which is this then you can increase increase the size this way then the upper side then you increase it this way all right so having done it now so the next thing i'm going to do then click ok right click and create a clipping mask so this is the outcome of the design then i'm going to select this one to the barcode then use your arrow key then to bring it down then select this one all you can group it then use your arrow key then to bring it down okay to create a space between this one and the design all right so that is all in this tutorial thank you so much for following if you like this video don't forget to subscribe then share then also please follow my membership final so that you can get access to any pick i'm going to distribute or share to my members thank you so much and if you want any of my flyers design then you can go to my my fiverr account or order any of your design